All right. Well, good morning, freshmen. It feels really good to say that. Uh, I know most of you probably consider yourself eighth graders still, but you are now officially freshmen at Leiden High School. Uh, my name is Andrew Sheros. I'm the assistant principal at Leiden High School. Um, uh, West Leiden High School, uh, hopefully I got to meet a lot of you during the first couple days of Freshman Academy. Uh, you're now in week two, uh, and we wanted to start talking about uh, digital citizenship a little bit. Uh, the theme of this week is orientating you to Leiden, getting you a part of the Leiden culture. And obviously, digital citizenship is a huge part of the Leiden culture here. As you know, uh, you're going to receive a Chromebook your freshman year, and you're going to use the Chromebook throughout your four years. And so, so much of what we do in our school and outside of our school is online. And your presence online and your profile online and what your online profile and social media posts say about you is really important not only to you as a high school student, but as you move on in life through college and as a, an adult in the real world, it's really important that you present a solid image of yourself, both in person and online, because they're equally as important. So um, instead of me talking at you the entire time, I want to try to make this interactive a little bit. So if you have your Chromebooks, please take out your Chromebooks and uh, open up a web browser and type in this address. So it's a Google form that's going to ask you three questions. I'll try to leave this address up here. Uh, and the three questions are going to ask you about the different types of social media, uh, social media apps that you use. So uh, type in this address. Uh, the nearest teacher to the computer, if they can come up here and just pause me for a second. So this is on the screen. Uh, fill out the three questions, and then you can play the video again when everybody is finished. So that post asked you, uh, those questions asked you about three different things. Uh, what type of social media do you use? Uh, if you use social media, have you always used it appropriately? Um, and uh, finally, uh, what does your online profile say about you if we know or if we knew nothing about you? What type of image are you portraying if I looked at your Vines or if I looked at your Facebook or if I read uh, your post on Twitter or I looked at your photos on Instagram? What kind of image am I going to see? Um, and if you looked at the second question carefully, some of you probably already know that some of the things you're posting are not necessarily appropriate or something that you're proud of. But even if you click that last reason there that said, ah, I'm not really sure if what I'm posting is appropriate. If there is any doubt in your mind whether or not it's appropriate, it's probably not appropriate. All right. So I'm going to take you through a couple examples. Now, these are extreme examples. But if you do a quick Google search, which I'll have you do in a second, you can probably find hundreds of examples of similar things. So here's a Texas high school student who was arrested after allegedly posting a bathroom photo of a fellow student. That family pressed charges um, because she was taking a photo of somebody else without their permission. Um, so the family said that they have their phones out everywhere in class, in the hallways. Uh, and some of you will probably have your phones on you when you when you come to school. Some of you will leave them in your pocket. Some of you will leave them in your locker. But if you take your phone out and you take a picture of somebody else without their permission, you can get in big trouble from that, not only with the school, but legally, if that person did not want you to take and share that picture. So uh, this specific student here in Texas was arrested for doing so. And her dad commented that, you know, being a junior and being in trouble, it's not good. Uh, it's going to follow you for the, the rest of your life, as you can see his quote at the very bottom here. So uh, maybe a more extreme example of that uh, would be a Texas, also uh, happening in Texas, at a pizza place um, who was just hired to be uh, a worker at this pizza joint. And so she was going to work the cash register, eat free pizza. And the day before she started her job, she sent out a tweet that said, ew, I start this blank, blank job tomorrow. Uh, and the owner of the pizza place saw the tweet and tweeted back to her, no, you don't start that job today because I'm going to fire you. So um, even a high school student who's tweeting about something that's seemingly harmless, she might not want to go to work or whatever the next day, ended up getting fired from her job before she even started for posting what she thought was a harmless tweet online. And if you think it's just about students, um, it's not. It's about all of us. So even us as adults have to be mindful of that. Here's a, a teacher who posted a picture of herself on Facebook smoking. 
Uh, and she was a 23 year old teacher. She had just gotten her first job in Colorado and she was fired by the school district. Uh, she'll probably never work another day in her life in education because of a simple post like this on Facebook. So it's not just teachers, uh, certainly not just students. It's all of us that have to be mindful of our digital footprint. So I want to take you through a couple different things today. But the, the first thing I want you to do um, now is go go back to your Chromebook and just do a very simple Google search like I'm doing here and type in something about high school student um, fired or high school student in trouble for tweets or something to that effect. Don't use my searches, but do your own searches just for a second. So uh, again, if there's a teacher near the, um, the screencast right now, if you could just pause while your students do a quick search of some of the crazy stories that are out there, turn to a partner next to you in the room that you're in right now and share a crazy story really quick. Some of it might be funny, but it's absolutely serious that this kind of stuff could get you in trouble. So pause me right now and I'll come back in just a second. So I wanna present you with a few reminders um, of using social media. You are what you post. Just because you post something online, it is exactly like you are saying it either to me, to your parents, to your friends, but that represents you just as much as it does uh, as if you were saying it in real life. So if you post something potentially about another classmate or another student or a friend or whatever, you are responsible for that um, in school. You can get in trouble for that at Leiden if you post something disparaging about someone else or threatening or, or what have you. Um, what you post is permanent, um, meaning that you can delete it, uh, you can get rid of it on that site, but someone might have already taken a screenshot of it. Someone might have already taken a video shot of that, of whatever you posted. So just because you think you've deleted it, there are awesome ways to find things that have been deleted online. Uh, and so once it's out there and you press send or you press tweet, that's going to be out there forever. So you also want to ask yourself, I find this is to be a really good rule of thumb. Before you post anything like I'm hungry or I can't wait to go to the dance tonight or the football game is gonna be awesome, or whatever it might be, when you feel compelled to tell your friend circle or the world, would my grandmother approve of this? Is this something that my grandmother would understand or approve of? And if the answer is no, then you probably shouldn't post it. Now, if the answer is your grandma doesn't know how to use Twitter or whatever, that's not really the point of the question, right? But is this something that if your parents saw, if your guardian saw, your grandmother saw, if your teacher saw, they would approve of this. Ask yourself, why am I posting this? Is there a reason why I'm telling people right now that I'm eating tacos? Does anybody care and why am I posting this online? So does it really matter? And again, I wanna be fully transparent that I have to work on this too. Um, you know, here is my Twitter profile and you guys could all uh, follow me or you could follow my tweets if you want. You're probably gonna be pretty bored because I'm talking mostly about education, but there's a lot of posts about um, things that are going on here at Leiden. I am promoting some of the positive things that are at, at Leiden as well. Um, but uh, I, I know that, you know, whether I'm in education or not, that people are looking at whatever you post on social media. So these are the things that, that I tweet about. And I'm not uh, ashamed to show you what I have out there for everybody to see, because I know that everybody can see it if they are watching. So uh, I feel the same way about Facebook. Some of us think Facebook is more private because we only have certain friends that look at our stuff. And I do have only friends access to my Facebook page, but if you look at my Facebook page, I'm not upset or embarrassed about anything that I'm posting on there. I'm posting pictures about my friends, uh, my family, and my kids. And if you post something online that you're ashamed of, you're probably gonna end up crying or feeling like my son did the first time that he met Santa Claus. So um, it's important that what you post is something that you're proud of and is a solid representation of who you are. Um, here at Leiden, we use social media and our digital footprint a lot. And one of the ways we do that is through the hashtag Leiden Pride. So if you, if you search hashtag Leiden Pride, what you'll find are some wonderful representations of what we have here at Leiden. Everything from our service trips to our sports to things people are excited about in classrooms, students tweet to it, parents tweet to it, community members. Uh, and so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just throw that out there as a way for you to get involved in the community and using Light and Pride. Last thing for today, go to this link. You can leave it up on the screen, teachers, really quick. It's your last question uh, to conclude.